If firefighters think about managing the forest and managing the fire rather than fighting a battle, it's a whole different mentality. The 204 CAL FIRE achieved multiple objectives, including improving forest health and creating places where firefighters have better options to control future fires. There are vast areas of the forest with beetle kill. Tussock moth is moving in in a lot of areas. Through that aggressive initial attack or snuffing all fires out, we've altered that ecosystem or that environment. And over time, you essentially, as I think about it, you've created an obese landscape where you've got way too much fuel loads. All that material can burn explosively and uncontrollably when it's hot, dry, and windy. But on August 9, 2019, the forest was relatively moist and cool, so the fire was burning with very little intensity. We had a little bit of creeping and smoldering. The logs, the downed wood was consuming like cigars. That ash just burning completely. In addition to the weather and fire behavior, managers weighed other factors as they discussed how to handle the fire. These included its impact on natural resources, its location, and risks it might pose to the public and firefighters. This fire had started high on a ridge, deep within a roadless area. One of the decisions when you put firefighters in a remote area is, yes, you can get them in, but what if there's an injury? How cumbersome is it gonna to be to get them out? Instead of a direct attack, managers took an approach used successfully on many prescribed fires. They surrounded the fire with strong containment features using existing forest roads and some bulldozer lines. Firefighting resources were readily available because very few large fires were burning in the region. And it's better to reduce those fuels in the kind of situation we had this August with the kind of resources we had rather than stuffing it out and letting it build up to a time where it's a real hot August with high winds. It burned with a good mix of fire severity, leaving a large but mostly gentle footprint on a landscape that has been regularly shaped by flames. We've had Bald Sisters fire in 2014, which was to the north of uh, this fire. In 2016, we had the Rail fire, which was to the east of this fire. Fire footprints, along with fuel treatments like thinning projects and prescribed fires, become part of the big picture strategy to contain new fires. If you look at the lightning strike history there, it just gets pummeled all the time. So fire, there's gonna be a fire there at some point. Lots of beetle killed timber remains in the area and fire managers know big picture thinking is what's needed if they are going to successfully contain the next large fire. So that's, that's the hope for cow is that in the future when we get a fire out there we're able to use this landscape as an area that you know, we can consider treated. Because treated areas burn with less intensity, they are safer places to fight fire if firefighters need to make direct attacks to protect people and property. We know now that forests need fire to stay healthy. What looks empty today will become next year's meadow and there will be a better mix of tree species and trees of different ages. Having a forest that has a diverse age class and species composition and density is going to allow it to be more resilient when we do get some kind of disturbance, whether it's some outbreak of insects or whether it's our next fire, because there will be a next fire. Our understanding of what a healthy landscape is has changed, and it's really important for people to appreciate that and that what responsible management looks like on the landscape needs to change accordingly. I really feel that we're making a difference on the landscape through a whole suite of tools, some of them being timber harvest, fuels contracts, and fires and prescribed fires. This isn't exclusive, this isn't unique. There's many places in our national forest systems where exactly this type of fire management needs to occur, has occurred, and should occur.